So here's my bench setup for the Go 7 with driver ID and relay kit. Uh, I'll walk you through the wiring as it looks like a mess, but it actually is pretty straightforward here. Here's my power coming in with my ground going to my meter and uh, also to my circuitry through this wire here, which connects to the Go 7 uh, through wire ground. Positive comes over, powers the hot of the Go 7. It also jumps over to my relay and powers one side of the switch of the relay. The other side goes to my meter so that you can see right now we are 12 volt unloaded, so about 16 volts. Also on the 12 volt, I have this wire coming off, which goes to my switch, which acts as my ignition. And the other side of that ignition goes to the ignition of the three wire on the GO7. It also goes over to the driver ID ignition. So both of those are activated when the switch for the ignition are tripped. Um, there's the read face. The device, as you can see, is off. And then also on the relay, I have tapped into the unused foot. So pin uh, 87 of the relay so that it will power this LED when the relay is activated and, and that's ground over here. Um, so when the relay is activated and you cannot start the vehicle, that LED will come on. All right, so if I key switch on, you should hear the click of the relay. There's my LED is on. You can see right now my relay is providing no voltage, which means that I cannot start the vehicle. Go 7 is still asleep. So the ignition is on of the vehicle. I cannot start the vehicle. Key fob. I just heard the relay flip. I now have voltage, which means I can start the vehicle. And the Go 7 is waking up.